late 1980s, several British universities were investigating CHP, having recommended to the university that CHP was a viable proposition we duly went ahead and looked at the various options. The decision as to which product to go with was based upon an engineering quality rather than a financial one. In fact, it was at the start of the tendering process before Yenbacher was mentioned. And in those days, the representative company was Machine Manpower Management with the inevitable Jim Clark heading up the team. It basically came down to the design of the cylinder head and the performance that the Yenbacher engines were achieving and on the basis of that we duly took the decision to go with a Yenbacher installation and it would be three engines. In relation to the higher education sector we were breaking new ground. We were the first university in the UK to put in a triple engine installation. We were the first university in Scotland to put in CHP at all. And we found ourselves basically trailblazing with MMM very much in the driving seat alongside us. 97% of the campus load has been met from the CHP plant. If we bear in mind that three of the four engines are 19 years old, we can recognize the excellent reliability and performance that we're getting from that plant. That is largely down to the service engineers that are coming to site and the service management within Clark Energy. The products are reliable, but these guys are ambassadors for their company in the service that they can actually provide for us. The performance of the engines over the years has been of paramount importance to the success of the whole scheme. And this is where the contribution by Clark Energy and the men on site working in conjunction with the university staff has been absolutely essential. Energy and effective energy management and CHP all go hand in hand, but you do need a team and you need a strong team. And I have to say thank you to Jim for the efforts and the way he's developed Clark Energy. He's done a very good job. Well done. And here's to your next gigawatt, or should I perhaps say a terawatt. <laughs>